Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and welcome back to another amazing and lovely tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to set up MTCP, and then we are going to Telnet into a BBS. So this is kind of a dual part tutorial. Uh, the first part is going to be setting up MTCP, and then the next part is going to be actually Telnetting into a BBS. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, and this assumes you're on 86 box or an actual physical machine, is we are going to want to load our floppy. And I made a floppy called bbsflop.img. And then if we go into it and then do a dir, we have the driver, which is this is for the NE2000. Uh, so when you're setting up 86 box, under networking, you want the Novell NE2000. If you've already done the setting up the FreeDOS networking tutorial, um, then you can actually skip the driver setup. Okay, and then we'll just go into the driver. And we will then do a dir here. And you can see there's the driver. And I'm gonna saw walk back to C and I'm gonna do CDC Redos drivers. And then I'm gonna do a dir. And you can see I already have it in here. So what you're gonna want to do is do an X copy and you're gonna want to put this any 2000com file anywhere in your system. You just need to know where it is. So long as you know where it is, we're good. Um I put mine there. Okay, and I'm gonna go back out to C again, and I'm gonna go back to A, and I'm gonna go into the MTCP folder, and I'm gonna run another dir, and you can see there is all the files. I included the full MTCP suite, um, because why not? Uh, the config file is already set up, um, and we'll just take a look at that Actually, let's let's copy this over first. Okay, so let's do a x copy mtcp, and then we need to tell it where do we want to put it. Uh, let's do c net mtcp forward slash e forward slash i. Then we hit enter, and we just wait a second as it ever so slowly and realistically copies. So like I was saying, this is already set up. All we have to do is modify our bat file to load it on boot. Now this is a pretty stout 486 machine here. Um, and so, you know, it can handle, it has plenty of memory to load all of this stuff in. And we're just gonna, you know, wait a second. Unfortunately, floppies are not known for being the fastest things on the planet, but we're getting there. Uh, the last little bits, text files. I also included the FTP pass text. All right, so now we're going to go into CD net MTCP. And then we'll do a wide dir there. And you can see everything is here. Awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need, I'm going to pull up my notes here just to make sure I get all this correct here. So everything's here. And actually, let's do an edit and then a control O, and then we will open up the FTP pass. I'll just explain this really quick. Basically, this is where you put like your accounts for FTP and everything. You put them all in here, probably do a separate tutorial on that at a later date. Uh, we'll just exit that. Oh, wait, hang on. I wanted that, but I didn't want that particular file. Okay, so here's the MTCP config file. So you have to know where your packet driver is initialized on which software interrupt. Uh, we're using uh, this address, uh, this hex address. Um, so we can just leave it at default, but if you use a different one, you're gonna wanna change it. Um, you can set up a host name, you can configure IRC Junior, and then you have all these different options here for FTP and so forth. And at the very bottom, you have the DHPC settings and it's already like i said it's already pre-set up but you can go through here everything is explained you can uncomment these out and then add you know your own changes or settings or you can just retype them out down here if you want to keep the notes uh from up above 
It's up to you. Okay, we're just going to exit. We're not going to save that. So now we're going to go back to our uh, C drive, or the root of our C. And we're going to load fdauto.bat, or if you're on MS-DOS, you're going to want to load uh, autoexec.bat. Okay, and then in our set path, I am actually going to add the MTCP folder. And the reason for this is, is then I can call telnet or the ping command from anywhere uh, inside of DOS. But this part's optional. You do not have to do this part. Okay, whoops, would help if I typed properly. Now we're gonna scroll down. So if you did the previous tutorial uh, with networking, um, then you already, then this part right here should already be familiar and you should already have it. Um, but if you don't, basically we're gonna load into high memory the location and path of our any 2000 driver or whatever packet driver you happen to be using. Uh, and then we're gonna set it up on interrupt 0x60 IRQ3, and the next part is the address. Relatively simple. This uh, this is already loaded. Uh, but the next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to make another comment here. Uh, set environment, whoops, variable for MTCP. And we're just going to do set MTCP CFG. And now we need to do the path of wherever we have our uh, uh, config file, which is in MTCP. And then the magic of get, get IP, accidentally hit insert there, sorry. Uh, auto magically, question mark. And this one, we just want to load uh, ddhcp.com uh, on boot. Now, some of these are optional, or rather, let me rephrase this. Um, setting the environment variable, that one you can do uh, on boot, but you don't actually have to set this automatically. What you could do is create a bat file and only load it when you want it. Same thing for the CFG. You could move this to a separate bat file and then just run that if you want to. But as we have plenty of system resources here, uh, I'm not really concerned about that. Okay. And basically we're just gonna call our comp file and we're gonna give it the flag forward slash M and it'll automatically find everything. So if we did everything right, we'll just reboot. And we'll wait a second here. Now, oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to eject our floppy. Yes, it would probably help to eject the floppy. Because I'm pretty sure that that floppy is not what we need. Okay, yeah, there it goes. And we'll just load straight in. And okay, everything went right. We have everything. We have our DHCP. We have an IP address. Everything is working as intended. So now what we can do is we'll run the ping tool, the ping Google. And that will basically just time out. But it did work. It, there were no errors. Um, it's complaining about something on line 22. Uh, not really concerned about it. But what we can do now is the latter half of this tutorial, which is connecting to a BBS. And we'll do bbs.error200.tech. And then we just need the port. So you need the command, the IP. This could be an IP, or it can be a you know, an address, a URL address. And then you just do the port and then you hit enter and then it'll do a little bit of connecting and ta-da, you are now at the error 200 uh, IP address and inside of the MTCP config, there is additional um, settings that you can pick. So let's go ahead and just sign in really quick. And we'll do an invisible login. We'll hit no. No. And there you go. We are now inside of the BBS and you can check. We don't have any messages. Well, we do have some messages. Just the, the default one I set up for creating the rules and so forth. And there you go. Everything is, yeah, I mean, it's fully functional. Uh, 
MTCP is not as nice as Telemate, but Telemate only works with a modem, and it's a little tricky to, you know, emulate a modem on uh, 86 box. So, still, it works flawlessly. Everything works. For example, we could load Lord. Because who doesn't want to load Lord? Hmm. It should really update it, though. Enter the realm of the dragon. And I'm currently a death knight, apparently. Mmm. Nothing happened there that day. Right, let's quit to the fields here. Let's load one more. Uh, let's load the Arcadian Legends, because that is a pretty neat little... Uh... Yeah. And there you go. Everything loads. And... Ta-da! So... That is that. You can check the link as, or sorry, the description as always uh, for both the uh, zipped floppy and just the zip version of uh, just a raw archive of everything that was included for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Everyone have a lovely day, and I will see you guys in the next one.